And now at 7, several Florida International University students are facing scrutiny. Members of FIU's College Republicans exchanged what some viewed as offensive text messages during an immigration protest that took place on campus. CBS 4's Hank Tester is following this story tonight. He joins us live from FIU's campus in West Miami-Dade with the latest. Hank. And Ruta Bay, the university promises an investigation into all this. Let's take a look. Thursday, the FIU campus, Miami, students walk out of class. FIU, one of the nation's most diverse, has been the scene of peaceful demonstrations in support of DACA students, undocumented, brought to the U.S. as young children. The Trump administration wants them deported, and so apparently do members of the campus college Republican organization. According to the New Times, the campus Republicans' private chat group heated up the rhetoric, for example, Call ICE so they can get iced. If you're undocumented, you're here illegally. Build the wall and deport all illegals. Uh, it was in, uh, appropriate from their part. Um, we do have to see sensitivity in both sides and respect both sides. While the demonstrations continue, the post and the chat forum moved away from undocumented immigration to issues of race, joking about Charlottesville, posting, I have less of a problem with a handful of KKK nut jobs than I do with the nationwide Black Lives Matter movement. As shocking, that is just crazy. I don't even I don't even have words for that. That's wow. FIU fired out a quick reaction to the chat, issuing this statement. The sentiments expressed in the chat do not represent the university community. Our Office of Student Conduct and Conflict Resolution will review the matter immediately and conduct any necessary investigations. They should get deleted. They should understand what they're posting before they should post it. Okay, it's a day off here at the uh, campus because of Veterans Day. We we're unable to reach the Campus Republican Club. We did try and call the College National Republican Committee in D.C. They, too, apparently took the day off. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.